As the years go by, the consequences of climate change become more and more prominent. One of the most alarming and devastating of these effects is flooding, which threatens coastal communities in many parts of the world. But how exactly does climate change lead to these floods? It first stems from the rising temperatures in our climate caused by significant releases of greenhouse gas emissions. As a result, ice caps and glaciers are experiencing a disproportionate amount of melting at an accelerated rate. It is important to note though that while the ice does naturally melt in the warmer seasons and naturally freeze again in the colder seasons, the difference here is the longer melting periods, which causes the worsening floods. When the ice melts, it adds water to the ocean and thus rises the sea level. Another reason is ocean volume expanding as the water warms. So, why does this matter? Because globally, 8 out of 10 of the world's largest cities are near a coast as well as a number of fragile wildlife habitats. Rising seas can contaminate soil and groundwater with salt. And these cities will see severe damage in their local ecosystems, infrastructure, and in people's lives. And the result of that? A loss for local jobs, regional industries, and so on. An example of a devastating flood due to climate change is in 2018 floods in Kerala, India. Many factors contribute to a flooding, but a warming atmosphere caused by climate change makes extreme rainfall more likely. In this case, the region receives an unusual amount of heavy rainfall during the monsoon season in 2018. This rainfall in such a short period contributed to the cause of the floods. Furthermore, the warmer oceans caused by climate change can lead to more moisture in the atmosphere. Kerala borders two oceans, the Indian and the Arabian Ocean. The water in these oceans warmed up, leading to excessive moisture and causing more rain to fall. Also, knowing that it borders two oceans, rising sea levels increase the risk of coastal flooding, leaving a worse recovery for later. These effects led to the displacement of more than 1 million people. The flood water reached over 3 to 4.5 meters in depth, killing over 400 people. Many of those that died were crushed under debris crossed by landslides. This devastating event is one of the many examples of how climate change continues to endanger our lives. Which is why to properly prepare for and to mitigate these effects, we must act now and fast.